Hello Aquarius and welcome to the Gifted Hermit. My darlings, I hope you are well. My name is Elizabeth, you can call me Lizzie from London. Let me know where you are in the world. Shouts out to all my newbies, um, people down under New Zealand and Australia. Um, I'm sending you love and light because I know the volcanic eruption that happened recently there. And yeah, I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving in America. We're going to jump right into it, Aquarius. Um, I decided to use Archangel Tarot cards for this reading. If I remember rightly, Aquarius, last week you were... Uh, you were moving away from something or some of you were a bit paranoid uh, m forgive me if I'm wrong okay um, you feel like a lot of people were deceiving you and stuff like that this week it seems a whole lot better and look at the clarifier we have the will amplified twice which I thought was absolutely wonderful I see a lot of you are in your honeymoon periods you know when couples uh just get together and everything's nice and fun and bubbly a positive new emotional experience aquarius fulfilling romantic relationships deep and lasting spiritual insights but what caught my eye was the two dolphins in the background so you know, definitely for some of you, you are uh, really, you know, enjoying each other's company. It doesn't have to be sexual partners or stuff like that. It could be just family members, friends. But I see a lot of lighthearted energy here and, you know, going with the flow type of energy, which is lovely. And then... You know, with the world here as well, it's like it's really ideal. Maybe it came at the right time, you know. With the will, it's like luck, the inevitable Aquarius, like the right timing Aquarius. There's a lot of new beginnings here and uh, new perspective. With... Uh, the Queen of Swords. I thought, wow, Aquarius is like definitely showing up on their reading today. You guys have uh, kept to your word, whichever, whatever your word is. I hope I'm making sense. This is a very general reading. So again, what doesn't resonate with you, then I suppose, you know, just let it slide. But what does? Give me a thumbs up <laughs> the moment I resonate with you. So I see a lot of you are in your element right now, Aquarius, especially for the females. And a lot of people are, especially Aquarius females, are, you know, looking at things from a different perspective. I think that's what I said last week was, uh, you know, the power of perspective and changing your thought mechanisms. So I see a lot of less worry here, a lot of stepping into new, new territory, setting yourself new goals, boundaries. A lot of you need to remember as well with the two of Ariel here that don't wear yourself out as much as you like to keep busy and, you know, uh, in your projects and stuff like that don't wear yourself out guys it's important to have balance working multiple jobs or projects at once making work fun so again maybe perhaps you know again with the dolphins a lot of you are having fun at work fun with your colleagues maybe there's a little light-hearted flirtation going on maybe some of you have moved into new careers new job positions maybe you have been promoted things are looking up things are starting to pay off again i do feel the need to say don't run yourself out you know don't run your steam dry yeah but it seems like luck is on your side there's a lot of good karma here a lot of good karma the world is your oyster 
yeah remember that and for those of you that are feeling quite negative and down in the dumps because again this is a very general reading i'm not gonna resonate with everyone i think there's gonna be a shift yeah for those of you that are feeling down and out you're definitely gonna get your mojo back but the majority of you have right <laughs> which is beautiful aquarius this is luck for those of you that are feeling quite unlucky right now change your perspective and i promise you shit will change as far as i see it here aquarius um, please check out my, I have to start promoting Patreon. I just jumped onto Patreon. Obviously, I do free weekly videos here for all Zodiac signs. But on Patreon, I'm going to do a full monthly video. Sorry for the background music. Got a bit of dry throat, so I opened the window. Yeah, going back to Patreon, Aquarius. If you guys jump on there, I believe packages start from as little as five to six dollars, pounds, depending where you are in the world. And I will be doing um, a full monthly spread for all the all zodiac signs. And there's also two other packages which include weekly angel readings as well as prizes i'm going to be start giving giving away prizes in the new year i.e crystals i.e free readings i.e merchandise because i've ordered some t-shirts that i'm going to show you guys i hope you're excited i'm excited uh, but yeah check out all the links in the about section and if you decide to become a patreon member yeah, it's, it's going to be something you won't regret, okay? Because for paying customers, I'm going to go that extra bit further. But for y'all that enjoy these weekly freebies, then yeah, that's fine. You know, whatever you decide to do, I'm cool with it. Jumping back <laughs> to Aquarius, you guys, all right? Yeah, you're definitely in your element. You, you are feeling free again. Free to be yourself around people like-minded people Aquarius people that are like you you're enjoying the company around you uh whether that be sexual or work or family you know it's that type of it's that time of the year and I definitely feel the need to say that 2020 should be um I haven't done I'm going to be also doing yearlies they're going to go up I think I did say New Year's Eve New Year's Day but I've changed that to the 1st and the 2nd of January. But as far as I'm aware, as far as what I see here, December is going to be, the rest of December is going to be great for you. You've got um, luck en route, whether that be love, finance. I think what what's happened here is, for those of you that have changed your perspective, you know, that it's coming back. That good karma, that good energy is coming back and you're starting to see results. For those of you that have not, then you need to because it will bring results, right? Again, the world is your oyster and you're capable of achieving what it is you need to achieve, what you set out to achieve. I'm going to give you an angel card. Whoa. Yeah. That was a jump out, jumped right into my lap. Take a screenshot. If you wish, we send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening, right? Allowing yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all of its glorious aspects. I mean, that's pretty freaking cool, right? Considering what I've just said. Like, I love it when the cards back me up. It gives me, it reignites my flame to continue on my journey. I hope you found this somewhat insightful. I hope you have a beautiful week ahead. Please, again, let me know where you are. Give me a thumbs up. My nails are terrible. Give me a thumbs up the moment I resonated with you guys or a thumbs down if none of this made freaking sense. Whatever it's cool. I'm very partial to all of my viewers, okay? Cross watchers, it's all love. To the haters in the back, we got haterade. <laughs> Some cheesy line that I've got. Check it in my bio. 
Um, but yeah, wherever you are, I wish you love, peace and light. And I will catch you next Wednesday where I do all air signs. If you didn't know already, you are an air sign. Because a lot of people think Aquarius is water, but you're not. You are air. You like to be free. It's all about the mind, the logic, being 10 steps ahead. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm talking about, boo-boo. <laughs> Take care, guys.